The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The glory of the Lord is here. Praise God. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you made up your mind to serve the Lord Jesus Christ? It's time to do so. Don't procrastinate about your eternal soul. Jesus said, if you call on his name, you shall be saved. Acts 2.38 tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Eternal life in a place where there's no more tears, pain, or sorrow. We can't even imagine that world, really. But our spirits tell us, yes, it's real, yes, it's true. Yes, Jesus did go to prepare a place for us. Yes, Jesus is coming again to take a people unto himself. Yes, there will be a thousand-year millennial period on earth. It will be a new earth, though. There has to be a cleansing of wickedness, and there has to be a start of a new new age where Jesus rules out of Jerusalem and that may sound like a lot to take in but this is called a walk of faith and God moves on our spirit and he draws us to him and we begin believing and walking in it and uh, the more we walk in the Lord the closer we draw to him the more he reveals and manifests himself to us. So we do want to draw near. We've got to do something. It doesn't just happen. A walk with the Lord does not just happen. You must pursue. You must seek. You must ask. And you will find. Praise God. I'm sharing with you from Psalm 46, 1 through 11. Um, <clears throat> usually I read King James Version translation. But I was reading along in a, a book, kind of a, this is an older book. Let's see, the author is Carol Ladd. It says, thrive, don't simply survive. Passionately live the life you didn't plan. So it's kind of a Christian book, but I don't, she didn't say what translation she was using here, but I really like the reading of it. So I'm sharing it with you. It's Psalm 46, 1 through 11. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. A river brings joy to the city of our God, the sacred home of the Most High. God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. The nations are in chaos, and their kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders, and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Come, see the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction upon the world. He causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns the shields with fire. <clears throat> be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. Wow, the Lord of Heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Praise the Lord God Almighty. That's what I'm sharing with you. The Lord is with us. If we could see, like uh, one of the prophets could see, in the spirit, he wasn't afraid at all because he saw the host of heaven's armies encircling. And uh, we have no idea. How many angels are on duty on the earth right now? And uh, there's no need to fear. 
we belong to the Lord God Almighty, Christ God, who made heaven and earth. The earth is his and the fullness thereof. Don't be afraid. Don't let yourself be anxious. Give every care to the Lord. He is taking care of business. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.